Good evening, collective. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. So I'm going to do a couple cards from our uh, Sacred Forest Oracle. And then we're going to do some a little bit of tarot um, after we pull an Ascendance, uh, Oracles of Ascendance card. So we are going to shuffle these real quick. How you be, everybody? How you be? Happy Friday. Happy Friday night. Friday night. All right. All right, let's get some cards for our collective. Sacred Forest Oracle for our collective. Sacred Forest for our collective. <laughs> Sacred Forest for our collective. Okay. Sacred Forest for our collective. Ooh, that was a couple. Sacred Forest <laughs> for our collective. Okay, I think one flipped over. Let me see. Oh, yep. All right. Okay, so we are going to see what we've got. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you got, we've got six cards here. Um, in your first row, we have Sanctuary, Mystic Meadow, and then we have the second card is Bear Spirit, which is Healing, and then we have Bee Spirit, which is Prosperity, we have Raven Spirit, which is Truth, we have Letting Go. Uh, spirit Guardian of Autumn. And then we have Eagle Spirit Freedom. So the first thing that I'm getting, Collective, is that you have really found peace um, kind of, you know, with a little bit of solitude, a little bit of, you know, maybe some self-healing, you know, not necessarily isolation, but really kind of being able to kind of balance out every you know, aspect of your life. And I feel like you've really kind of gone through this healing and you've kind of had this, this strength to be able to do it. I feel like it's taken you a while, um, you know, with the changing of the seasons. I feel like it's been almost maybe even a year now that we're coming up on winter soon. Um, I feel like you've really been taking time to kind of heal yourself and get back to, you know, who you are. And so with this prosperity, be spirit, um, I really feel like you've been working on, you know, your money and really kind of your stability and, you know, maybe you've invested in a couple, you know, stocks or bonds or what have you. Um, but I feel like you have come to a truth in your life that has um, kind of set you free because you've decided to let go of the situation so that you could have your freedom. And I really feel like that's something that, you know, was kind of needed. And um, I feel like it was really good for you to, you know, kind of expand your consciousness and, you know, kind of, you know, learn new things and, and you know, adventure and really kind of tap into new, new things that, you know, kind of you were able to educate yourself on. And I feel like, um, you know, that's where the bee and the prosperity is coming in. You know, you've really been focusing on your future and kind of what you want because you had to come out of this kind of healing, almost hibernation mode. And I feel like this truth, you know, was something that really kind of brought clarity to your life. So I feel like letting go is now that it's autumn and then it's like perfect timing <laughs> so i feel like that is like it couldn't be any more i just feel like you're kind of i mean there's a saying and it's 
there's not as many eagles in the sky as there are turkeys on the ground. And I thought, oh, that is perfect. Because it's like, what bird do you want to be? You know, caca. <laughs> you know, so it's like, what bird do you want to be? And me personally, I want to be an eagle. I want to be able to see things from a higher perspective. You know, I want to be able to, you know, have the advantage of really kind of looking at my situation and being able to filter out the negative in my life and being able to, you know, come to a truth and clarity and being able to let go and kind of move on. And I think that is an amazing kind of forward movement, you know, that the whole entire collective kind of has. So I think that's great. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and get some Oracle of Ascendance. Oracle of Ascendance. Um, so now that you're kind of free, I feel like you are you know, opening yourself up to new opportunities and really kind of, really kind of adventuring out of your comfort zone. Like I feel like you've really stepped out of the gate and you're on this new path and this newfound like spiritual journey and I kind of feel like you are like full force you know with it I feel like you really you know you know what you want you're very extremely clear on where you're going and I feel like you know you're going to be extremely abundant you know on this this path that you've chosen Okay, so let's get some Oracle from Ascendance. Oh, okay. Oh, a lot of spheres. Success. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Sigil of Atlantis. So you possibly may um, have connections with, you know, in your past life, uh, your past, excuse me, your past life with um, Atlantis. So, um, you know, within your ancestors and things like that, you know, I feel like you have connections to the water. I feel like it's um, something that kind of puts you at peace. And, um, you know, you kind of feel like you're at home, you know, when you're out on the lake or at the water, you know, like a stream or the ocean, you know, you really kind of can find, you know, happiness there. Okay, so let's see. Twenty-three. Look at that. It's like one page short. Okay. Oh wait. Yes. I was stuck. Oh, see, maybe you're kind of you know you felt like you were stuck or bonded to something, and then with this freedom, like you finally feel a weight lifted off your shoulders. Okay. Let's see, where did that card go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Sigil of Atlantis. Sigil of Atlantis is composed of several geometric shapes arranged with numerological symbols. In the time of Atlantis, healers used these geometric symbols to call forth ancient power and healing energies in all aspects of life. See what I tell you, collective? What did I tell you? Caca! <laughs> okay, symbols such as the sigil were carved throughout the city of the Renaissance. From these symbols, ignited energies that assisted in all aspects of daily life. When the sigil appears in your cards, you are being reminded that all things, including situations, possess an energy, either positive or negative. Okay, hang on. <laughs> it is up to you to shape and mold it. Energy is mutable. Remember this. And you can create and change or maintain the flow of your situation or inquiry. Um, the card asks you to focus on the principles of the manifestations and the law of attraction to make your dreams and realities you seek come true. Okay. The symbol um, has no inversion. Okay. So... <laughs> I, like I said, I feel like you are connected and tapped, tapped into, you know, the divine when you get close to water. So I feel like that's something that, you know, you should really kind of 
focus on. You know, maybe, you know, if you feel like you're kind of unbalanced, definitely go and, you know, dip your toes in some water. In some water. Okay. All right, collective. Okay, so we've got some Sacred Forest Oracle. We've got some Ascendance Oracle. Let's see. Okay. All right, we've got, oh, the other three spheres. Okay. Okay, so these are actually, so this is your crown chakra. I do believe, we'll have to double check. This is, I do believe, your, your sacral and then your solar plexus. So those are chakras that you definitely need to meditate on. But we're going to look them up. So that's Hod, um, Tevthrith, and Yasad. Okay. Where did it go? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's see. There's okay, thirty two. Yes, so 34 and 35. So let's do um, Tethreth teth, teth teth <laughs> first. Okay, so number 32. Okay. All right, Tethreth, um, keyword beauty. The sixth is um, Spheroth, balances... Um, Cheese and hang on, hang on. My book is so new that I can't like get us. Oh, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> um, cheese and the geb gebra. Um, it rests in the middle pillar of the tree. Oh, the tree of life. Okay. Um, below. Okay, it rests in the middle pillar of the tree. Below the non sphere of death. Um, the void, knowledge, and enlightenment. Okay. Um, Tethroth is often seen as a reflection of Kether um, on a lower plane. Hence, it symbolizes self-consciousness. Um, Tethroth also represents um, com um, compassion, integration, and miracles. It is the visible product of the divine and is the manifestation form also embodying the desire for life. Okay, Tethroth, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right, I don't know, bear with me, um, is the heart of the tree. Oh, see, yeah, okay, so open your heart chakra too, okay, um, and the sort of a central balance. Okay, when Tethroth appears in your cards, you are being asked to examine your emotions. Oh my goodness, what to just say? Okay, um, let's see, um, do you pay attention to how you rule, how they rule you? Um, do you acknowledge them or do you shut them out this card asks if you are being true to yourself as self-love not vanity is chief among healing yourself and resolving the issue at hand okay so definitely self you know self-love and really kind of you know taking care of yourself in a positive way not in a ego way okay so and then I think we're like two, yeah, Hod is next. Okay, let's see. Is the base or foot of the, okay, glory is keyword. Is the base or foot of the left pillar and the eighth sphere in the tree of life. It is Netzach ne, ne, um, opposite and acts as the key to energy being given physical forms as well as the governing, governing influence over intelligence. Um, critical thinking and reasoning. It allows truth to be discovered by seeing through deception and caused by too much emotion. Um, when hot appears in your cards, you are being asked to approach your situation through reasoned um, deduction and response. Rather than angered, you must look at the situation from all logical standpoints. Um, are you allowing too much emotion into your decisions? Is that clouding? Oh, hang on. Is that clouding your judgment? Um, Hod lends you um, the energy to uncover the truth of all things by eliminating all deceptions, including self-deception. 
boom. So when you got when you got self care, you don't have you know you won't be able to deceive yourself. You won't be able to hold your back, hold yourself back from anything that you need to move forward with. Like you'll be honest with yourself, and if you can be honest with yourself, then you're already on the step to a better self care. You know. Okay, the sod um, keyword foundation um, is the ninth sphere and balances Ned's net Zach <laughs> and Hoth. It is the base of the middle pillar of the tree of life. The sod rules the realms of cycles of movement, governing things such as time, moon phases, seasons, tidal flows, and reproductive cycles. Ooh, ladies. Okay, it also governs the unconscious mind and emotions it can be viewed as a sort of grand um, machinery that powers the ordered clinical functions of the universe um, when you saw it appears in your reading you were asked to balance yourself mentally spiritually and physically <gasps> yes balance okay so get grounded yo okay um only from this place of balance can you provide yourself with the new and necessary insight to help you achieve and overcome your obstacles? Have your, have your personal cycles fallen out of sync? While nothing can remain constant forever, the stabilizing and grounding foundations energy, energies of Yassad can help you um, reorder and rebalance your life. Okay, so that's kind of a lot, but it literally clarifies what we were already talking about when it came to our sacred forest um, oracle. And so I really feel like you've kind of come out of this like healing mode where you balanced your life. Like I said, you, you're no longer in this hibernation and, because you know what's good for you, right? So you took those steps and you did the work and then you moved forward because you found the truth and you were able to let go and have the freedom that you deserve. So when you balance out, when you balance out your life, oh, <laughs> when you balance out your life, the tree of life, then um, your life is balanced. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you kind of filter the situation that you're asking about, kind of, kind of really look at it. To, you know, really separate your emotions from it, step back and realize your reality. You know what I mean? Not, let's see, don't believe everything you tell yourself. Okay. So, or don't believe everything that, you know, you think to yourself because your mind can play tricks on you, you know? And so, when you're honest with yourself, which is where that self-care comes in, um, you're able to be honest with the people around you, you know? And so then when you have that self, that self-care and that self-growth, then you have the ability to be able to, to give yourself a chance to ascend. Because if you're not accepting of who you are, then you won't be able to ascend because you have to start with yourself. You have to start with your inner, your inner work and you have to do the work. It's just, it's just part of it. You know, it's part of the whole divine, the whole entire thing. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles, equal, equal give and take. So you have to have equal give and take in your life, this equal balance or your whole entire life will just be chaotic, right? So you definitely want to make sure like... Oops. that you are telling yourself the truth and really kind of giving yourself as much care as you give everybody else. Okay? Let's see. All right. And then we're going to just do a couple tarot cards. I kind of like this view, you guys. I kind of like it. Okay. These will be like these will be like short videos. Actually, this one's like, oh, <laughs> this one's like 20 minutes, <laughs> but at least, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> okay. So we have emperor, 
And then we have the Six of Pentacles, right? So I definitely feel like you're in your emperor status. And so you're giving yourself that self-care. You're putting yourself in that throne that you know that you are deserving of, okay? All right. All right, some tarot for our collective. Some tarot, ooh, we got the hermit. Some tarot for our collective. Tarot for our collective, <laughs> Page of Swords. Tarot for our collective. Tarot for our collective. Tarot for our collective. Ooh, communication. Okay, you know what? Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Let's. Okay. All right. I kind of feel like this may be a continuation of how you're feeling. I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine. Um, uh, it could be any sign, but possibly Virgo. Um, we do have air signs, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, but Page of Swords, I feel like this is, you know, this is swift communication. It can also be considered, you know, stalking, like spying online, you know, what have you, like all your social medias, like Facebook and stuff like that. Um, that's why I don't have Facebook, y'all. I just have YouTube. And, um... So we have Page of Swords, and then um, we have Eight of Wands. So I definitely feel like this person is going to be coming in with this communication. There's going to be the truth. I mean, like, he's holding the truth. He's coming in with communication after, after kind of being in this, like, self-care hermit mode where he's trying to, like, find the light. You know what I mean? And I once heard that, and I forget, I don't know who says it. Oh, it was like a, oh, God, oh, God, oh, oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I was watching movies last night. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, anyway, I heard this post, or had read this post, heard this saying, um, God, not too long ago, but it was, it's not the lantern that leads the way, it's the light inside. Right. I know that's kind of deep, right? So when you're looking for direction, you have to know that it's not the physical that's going to help you. Okay. It's going inside. It's it's really finding the strength inside to find the clarity to be enlightened, okay? And so when you come out of this hermit, like this hermit mode, you're really kind of coming out almost as like, like I'm surprised. We, oh my God. I was going to say I'm surprised when I don't see like rebirth or death, you know what I mean, that came out on the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. So it literally is like you have came to a rebirth. Something has come to an end. Um, it says death, but I don't really like to say death. Now, there could be a recent death possibly within, you know, somebody that you know close to you and my condolences, you know, if that's the case. But um, I feel like it's more of like an end to a situation, okay? Because he's putting an end to a situation and then he's coming forward with communication after being enlightened, okay? And he's coming towards the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, and he's bringing this communication, Eight of Wands. So it's definitely, oh, see? The death, and this was under the death card, so Queen of Wands. So whoever this is, this divine masculine that I'm talking to, has put an end to a situation with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and they're bringing communication towards you. So you are either the divine masculine in this situation, um, and like I said, it, you could be any sign for the most part. We are seeing um, Scorpio, I see um, Virgo and then Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, but I feel like you just came out of a relationship um, that you put an end to and you're bringing communication to your Queen of Cups. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Three cups, bottom of the deck. Let's just put the deck right here so you guys can see <laughs> the moon. Something is about to be enlightened, okay? Judgment. It's going to be judgment on the situation. Something that someone's been working very, very hard towards their wish. And they had to go through a tower moment to be able to do it. And then after healing, temperance, their heart, three of swords, and working really hard, eight of pentacles, they have finally come abundant enough, ten of pentacles, to come forward and offer you this love. The lovers, possibly Gemini in yours or their um, in their chart. But then you have the hair font and then the page of cups. So this is an this is a an offer that you know the divine is is watching over but you want to be careful because this is a fish in that cup who wants a fish in a cup you know what i mean i mean even the fish is looking at him like dude are you serious <laughs> like this is what this is what we're doing this is what we're doing and then under that is five of pentacles out in the cold i feel like you have been left out in the cold when it comes to this previous situation that you were in. And I feel like you followed somebody out in the cold and I feel like you got the brunt of it. I feel like you were the one who worked the hardest and you're the one that's struggling the most. I feel like you guys have to go into this church just to be able to get money, to be able to, you know, make it by. And I feel like she sat at home while you worked all day and literally did nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And then you've got Ten of Wands. So there, this is definitely a burden. You know, you walked away from this situation of being out in the cold. And you're wanting to come forward towards your Queen of Cups with this, this cup. You know, this love. But you need to get that fish out. <laughs> you need to get the fish out. You know, you could have been possibly dealing with, you know, maybe you have Pisces in your chart, but I'm getting that like, you know, you really need to step up your game because this is not going to, this is going to end up being out in the cold from your queen of cups and you're going to end up having to carry these burdens, you know, because there was, there was five of swords. There was time and energy and, you know, hearts were broken and time was stolen, you know, and a lot more was, was done, you know, on that battlefield for, for no reason other than because of options, you know, and possibly this queen of cups decided she didn't want to be an option. And so she took off. So now somebody's got to break communication to this queen of cups. And it looks like the truth is coming in pretty quickly possibly from the king of pentacles he was up in his head eight of swords about the sun and his happiness and how this wheel of fortune he's wanting to go in his favor because he just went through this battle and this marriage this commitment of this you know, maybe that's what it was. It was a fish kind of relationship. You know, when I look at the, when I look at the nine of wands, it, it's a wounded warrior. Okay. And it's like you guys argued and then all of this green like leaves at the top. That's abundance. Okay. And happiness. And, you know, you guys made up. So you would fight and then make up and then fight and then make up fight and make up and then you'd fight again and then you'd make up again and then you'd fight and make up and you'd fight and make up and you finally got tired of it you got tired of this toxic cycle you got tired of it and you put an end because you want your happiness you're tired of being in your head and you're tired of all these options and you don't want to feel like you're left out in the cold and you feel like you might have missed a chance on your happiness because of the cycle ending. So instead you're going to be single, Ace of Cups and Knight of Wands, running around with all this emotion and passion, thinking about your past person, your past person, <laughs> 
and how you want victory with this two of cups after juggling and then being up in your head. Well, <laughs> you know, the hangman, ten of swords. I feel like divine masculine, I feel like everybody in this situation is kind of at this ten of swords right now. I feel like, you know, the queen of cups is kind of, I mean, she's lost in all of this chaos, you know, and I feel like the queen of wands is buried under it, you know, buried under it. And I feel like, you know, you're just wanting your happiness. And I feel like you should do what's best for you. Divine Masculine. So we got Divine Masculine, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. Um, we had Scorpio and Virgo. All right. So oh, let's see if we can get, oh, see ya. Okay. You know what? Let's get, let's get. Oh, I have an idea have an idea. <laughs> okay, so why don't we just go ahead. See, so we have an emperor on the bottom of the deck. I definitely feel like you're in your emperor status and you're taking forward movements to be successful in what you're wanting to do for your future. Star card in the middle of the deck. I feel like you're wanting to make this wish come true. You want your happiness. You want your two cups. You know, you've got two of cups, the sun, you've got six of cups, ace of cups. You know, this this person, this um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio queen, queen of cups, could possibly be um, from your past. You know, maybe you grew up with them. Let's see. Yeah. Possibly, maybe you grew up with them. But you have a lot of love for them. And they could be your twin. In the sun. So, okay, let's get some cards for the overall outcome. Let's do, how about advice? Advice for, oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, the victory. <laughs> I feel like you're going to have victory no matter what, you know, wherever you are in this situation. I feel like the Queen of Wands, honestly, she's not even looking, like you can kind of see her right here. She's not even looking towards any of this that's going on. I feel like she possibly has somebody on the side already. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that she doesn't even care about all of this that has happened. I feel like the Queen of Cups is minding her own business. And I feel like this divine masculine is really having a hard time. So depending on who you are in this situation, you know, put the shoe on that fits. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get some overall advice. What should our collective do? Now that they're coming out of a toxic situation, no matter who they are. Okay. What should our collective do? Oh, all right. We've got two cards. Wow. We've got two of wands and four of pentacles. So you need to make the decision to move forward. You're going to be a little bit guarded, I feel like, but I feel like you're going to hurdle this last wall of fire and you're, you're done. You're out. So no matter who you are in this situation, I feel like you will have a new victory with a brand new person. It's going to be a brand new love. So if you're the Queen of Cups, it'll be a new victory. If you're the um, Divine Masculine, uh, Cancer, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sag, you're going to have a victory with somebody new. It's going to be a, a love relationship that you have not been in before. You know what I mean? You might have known the person, but it's not going to be... It's not going to be... Um, it's not going to be like, I don't know, like it's not going to be, um, you know, one that you've gone back to, you know what I mean? Or like some you've had like a one night stand with, like this is going to be brand new, brand new. It's going to be amazing. And I feel like you might be kind of guarded, but 
I feel like you're going to be in your power because you're going to take forward action. Like I said, two of wands to go over this last hurdle and have this victory. So, all right, that's a wrap. Uh, thanks for joining me and hanging out on this wonderful, wonderful Friday, Friday night, Friday. So, all right, I think that's, I think that's it, yeah. I kind of like that, I like that. I like this, I like this setup, I like, I like it. I think we might do it like this every once in a while, just to kind of throw throw it up a little, throw it up a little bit different. <laughs> so, all right, guys, you guys have a good night. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'll probably post a few more videos. Um, but other than that, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.